This is Stephen L. Smith of King of the House Home Inspection in Bellingham. I'm a state licensed structural pest inspector and a licensed home inspector. There are eight wood destroying organisms found in this region. Of the eight, five are common. I call that short list of wood destroying organisms Whatcom County's most wanted. At older homes with damp substructure areas, the anabede beetle can be a serious concern. A sign of past or present anabede beetle activity consists of tiny shot-sized holes in lumber. Insect larvae lives deep inside wood and the pest will reinfest for generations until the lumber is destroyed. Control involves removing and replacing structurally damaged lumber, reducing moisture and usually an application of a chemical treatment by a pest control professional. For an insect that's smaller than a grain of rice, damage from this pest can be costly. There are other species of wood boring beetles found here that are non-reinfesting. We need not worry about those insects. But another destructive wood borer is occasionally a problem. The lifted beetle is imported to our area in hardwood floors, bamboo, and furniture. If you see tiny holes or wood dust inside the house in a hardwood floor, picture frames, or furniture, then contact a pest control professional. Carpenter ant damage is ongoing in Whatcom County and around Washington State. Signs of carpenter ants in their shavings or frass might be subtle. Piles of sawdust left inside the house by working ants. More often than not, the frass will not be visible inside. Accessing the crawl space, a basement, or an attic might reveal evidence of a serious carpenter ant infestation. This joist and sill plate were destroyed by carpenter ants with a little help from anabete beetles. If carpenter ants have been in residence for a long time, there could be a huge pile of frass and structural damage might be extreme. If you suspect carpenter ant activity, or if you see ants climbing exterior walls or moving along power lines or fences to gain entry into your home, then contact a pest control professional. The moisture ants an opportunistic pest that's attracted to wood that was extremely wet or already rotten in the first place. That said, moisture ants can make a startling mess, typically working in rotten lumber, under or behind leaking sinks, toilets, or tubs. To eradicate moisture ants, no chemical treatments required. Simply eliminate the source of the moisture, such as a leak, and replace damaged wood with sound material. Let's debunk a fallacy. There's an old wives' tale that says that termites are not found in Whatcom County. Wrong. You're inside a crawl space in Bellingham. That structural lumber was eaten by damp wood termites. This floor joist is under a home in Ferndale. Again, damp wood termites. That hexagonal frass is proof of damp wood termite activity. Damp wood termites are attracted to wood that's distressed in the first place, wet or rotten. Eliminating the source of the moisture and replacing the damaged wood should eradicate the pest. While not common at this point in time, infestations of subterranean termites have been found in Whatcom County. A classic sign of this insect is the presence of mud tubes on structural lumber or the foundation walls. Damage from subterranean termites can be extensive. When subterranean termite activity is found, it will be necessary to contact a pest control professional and structural repairs will probably be required as well. The subterranean termites complete the list of wood-destroying insects that are found in Whatcom County. There's a newcomer to the state, the velvety tree ant. This insect has not been seen in Whatcom County as of July 2010. For your information, when a pest control treatment is required, the chemicals used today are less toxic than the insecticides of years gone by.
There's another non-insect wood-destroying organism that we have to contend with in Washington State and Whatcom County, wood decay fungi or rot. Rot can occur in wood that has 20% or higher moisture levels. In our damp climate, especially at the exterior of the home, wood is often subjected to high moisture. In the final stages of rot, there's not much wood left. To set the record straight, there is no dry rot in Washington State. All rot in the state is caused by moisture. There are no exceptions. Clients ask what they can do. What kind of ongoing inspections can they perform? Or hire done before undetected problems become serious issues at their residence. To protect one's investment, homeowners need to eliminate conducive conditions, those deficiencies that make a home more prone to attracting pests and rot. Here are some simple but effective tips. Control runoff water, fix leaks in gutters and downspouts, and make sure the downspouts don't empty next to the foundation or the structure. Take a look at soil, concrete, and flat work around the perimeter of your home. If the surface is sloped toward the house, well, you might have a problem. Work to maintain a foot of clearance between plants, vines, and the exterior of your home. Keep soil away from wood on the siding and trim and in the crawl space. If you have an unconditioned or ventilated crawl space, then don't block the vents. The vents are designed to be left open year-round. You might have to wrap the water pipes to prevent freezing in winter. Cover bare soil. Put a plastic vapor barrier over the earthen floor of the crawl space. Remove and dispose of scrap wooden cardboard, such as those old form boards that were left on the concrete pier. Ultimately, the goal is to keep moisture levels in the crawl space low. This is best done by controlling runoff water, eliminating plumbing leaks, and providing proper ventilation. Oh, and a final tip, a crawl space that looks like this one even seasonally will degrade a home over time. This crawl space is destined for catastrophe, including rot and mold issues. Consultation with a drainage professional is in order. This is Stephen L. Smith of King of the House Home Inspection. I hope you found this video interesting, helpful, and informative. King of the House serves clients in the northwest corner of Washington State, Whatcom, Skagit, and Island Counties. Stephen L. Smith is licensed Home Inspector Number 207, a state licensed structural pest inspector, a HUD and FHA registered inspector, lead instructor of home inspection at Bellingham Technical College, and a member of the Washington State Home Inspector Licensing Board.